Welcome everyone. This video is about UET LMS. In this video, you will learn how to log in into an LMS account, how to register subjects, how to generate feature lands, and other things. So first of all, let's see how to log in into an LMS account. You just simply have to go to your Chrome or any other browser and search UET LMS login and search. So the first link here states login into UET LMS. Click on it. So this is the login portal for your UET LMS. So here you have to simply write your email accounts allotted by the department and here you will write your password and simply log in. The next thing is how to register subjects. So first of all you have to write your semester here which is fall 2020 and here you will write the name of the subject. Let's search for intro to computing and then click load offered sections. So here is the thing that you have to register in your respective sections allotted by the department. Suppose my section is section C, so I will register in section C simply. Suppose I have registered this subject and now I want to register any other subject like calculus. So I will simply remove this one and write calculus here and click this button. So I will register in section C and this subject will be simply registered also. So now you know how to register your subjects. Now I will tell you how to download the course outline. Here you can see a tab registered subjects. Click on it. So you have to go to your respective semester. Suppose I want to see the registered subjects in fall 2019. So here is the list of the subjects registered in fall 2019. For downloading the course outline, I will simply click here. The course outline will be downloaded in your device in the PDF form. Here you can see that there are some other tabs in the side nav bar of your LMS portal. For downloading the feature lands, you just simply have to scroll it down. Here you can see a tab named as feature lands. By clicking on it, a screen will appear from where you can download your feature land. Here is a tab named as due summary. You can see your due summary from here. And you can also explore the other tabs as well. So that's all. Hope this tutorial was useful for you.